Money, money, money. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything? And today happens to be a big day uh, with the stock market because we hit new highs. It took a while, but uh, we finally recovered from the correction that we've been in. Let's just go ahead and take a look at this. This is from Market Watch. S&P 500 and Nasdaq break above closing records for first time in months as stock market climbs. The S&P 500 index and the Nasdaq composite on Tuesday hit Tuesday as in April 23rd hit record territory which was last hit in the last hit in in the fall <laughs> and late summer. As a rebound in the healthcare and gains in the consumer discretionary sectors brought the benchmarks to the brink of all time highs. Um, it actually um, did push above that. At last check, so this was this was before the closing of the day, but um, it did actually uh, break above. And I'll go ahead and pull that screen up here right now. So this is the last high that we had right here. It was, uh, this is the S&P um, 200. Well, this is SPY. I always go by SPY because it's easier to, to read. But according to the SPY, the highest is $291 a share. And as you can see, we closed at 292 So we have broken um, a new record. But what's going to happen from here? Well, let's kind of take a look at this here. If you notice, we hit a high right here towards the beginning of 2018. Some of you may remember this. And there was a um, huge downturn. There's a huge amount of selling. And then uh, it started to make its way up came back down and then it worked its way back up and it made a new high uh, from 286 to 291 so only like five dollars more per share on the s p 500 etf did it do that and then after that it sold it went almost as low the first time but then it sunk really low and that was that was late last year when that happened. Of course, there was stuff going on in the news at the time as well. But there's been no retest of this right here. There's been no retest of it like like there was here. It went down, went up and it retested that um, that bottom and then just kind of went up. There's been no retest of this low. So what's going to happen now that we've hit a new high? Is it going to keep going further? Yeah, I think it'll keep going further. I don't think it's going to go much further. I think it's. I think we're gonna we're going to see another sell, another big pullback, um, probably back to down to this level again, um, maybe even possibly back lower or even lower than that, uh, than than what it was uh, around. This was like around Christmas. Yeah, this was around December 17th, and then there was a huge gain after that. So, um, as far as investing goes, if you're going to do some investing, just be careful. Um, maybe find a stock that you like. Maybe just buy a few shares, not a whole lot of shares. Just kind of ease your way into the market. Uh, and that way, if the market does fall... Uh, you're not going to lose that much money uh, and then you can just buy more shares to add to your portfolio when it gets cheaper. So that's really the only thing I can think of um, in regards to what's going on with this. That's pretty much what I'm doing. 
I had Apple and I had Nvidia. I sold them uh, because I'm getting funny vibes from Apple. Um, because uh, it, the smartphone market, from what I've been understanding, it's like whoever's whoever was going to get a smartphone already has. Um, and so, I don't know, there's just been some weird vibes that I've been getting from Apple. And I just, I had, I had made over a hundred dollars worth of profit on the shares that I had. And I just wanted to go ahead and just take that money off the table and maybe wait for the next pullback, the next big pullback, uh, to happen. And then maybe jump back into Apple again. Um, and Nvidia, I don't know. That one was looking kind of shaky too. Uh, I managed to make about eighty dollars with that, and so um, I pulled that money off the table. And well, that's pretty much two hundred dollars there that I'm going to be putting towards a new graphics card. <laughs> That'll cost about six hundred, but um, yeah, you know, money. So that's just less I have to spend on it. Anyway, um, just wanted to get this out there and get it out there quickly for those of you who follow the market. Um, what do you think is going to happen after this? Do you think it's going to drop? Yeah, it's going to, there's going to be a pullback. But do you think there's going to be another massive pullback like there has been? Uh, I've been reading things saying that the volume of stocks is beginning to dry up, that there's less and less volume. Um, so there may be a lot of selling that might be happening here soon. I don't know. That's what I see. I see this pushing up a little bit more, but then I see it going down. But anyway... Let me know what your thoughts are and um, check out the other videos that I have on this channel in regards to my rambling series because I have a whole bunch on a variety of different things, just things that I come across. And um, hey, other than that, I'll see you on the next rambling video.